So we just got the Samsung Go Mic Mobile and today I'm going to show you and unbox this one and explain the receiver, the transmitter and everything that's going on here and the quality of the mic. So right now I'm currently mic'd up with the Lavalier Go Mic Mobile and I want you to hear and listen to see if the quality is good for your ears or not. Anyway, let's get to that and I'm going to show you in the box. So basically this is how the box looks like, very simple. Uh, this is considered a budget lavalier, wireless lavalier. But the concept behind the GoBike Mobile is interesting because you can just connect this up directly to your smartphone or even to your DSLR or anything that records audio, right? And the reason why we bought this was to create Facebook Live videos, to create content videos immediately on our smartphone. So we don't need all those sophisticated setup with DSLRs and all that. So anyway, I'm going to show what's inside here. As you can see, it's really, really simple. Uh, what you get is the cables and these are the cables for you to connect to different types of smartphones like your iPhone which has the micro USB to a lightning cable and also the, uh, I have it here, the micro USB to USB-C for your Android phone. Now what I found though when you, when you connect to your smartphone, you need to use a different type of app. Some native apps on your smartphone will not work with the Samsung mobile receiver and you might have to use um, audio apps like, for example, for me, I'm using the Samsung Note 8 and I have to use the Record Forge app. I'll place a link down in the comment section below so you can go and check it out. Anyway, in the box, you get really, really simple stuff, charger, um, those accessory kits for you to mount the transmitter on your tablet or on your smartphone, the cables as I mentioned, and that's really about it. And when you buy a set, you actually get um, <coughs> a receiver and also a transmitter with the Lavalier mic that I'm currently wearing right now. And the Lavalier mic is an omnidirectional microphone, so it picks up sound around here. So let's talk about first the receiver. So right now, I'm currently actually lining out the receiver through an analog out to the Zoom H6 I have here, a portable audio recorder. All right. But the idea of the Samsung Go Mic mobile receiver is that you can connect directly the USB audio towards a smartphone like an Android smartphone or an iPhone, right? And you can see that we have channel 1 currently turned on. That's because we have this connected towards the receiver here. Now, I also bought another receiver. So that means if I were to turn this on, you'll see this channel 2 lighting up, right? So the battery indication will turn orange and red when the battery is low. This thing lasts up about six to eight hours. The last time I recorded for six to eight hours straight, it was still working. And this knobs here is for you to select the different types of analog outs. So if you were to select the one and two, channel one would be output into the analog audio. Two means channel two will be output. And if you select the headphones output, that means the channel one and channel two will be output into here currently. <clears throat> so this is the on button and we have the volume button and finally we have the mix and two channel. This means you can actually mix the audio together or if you select two channels, what's going to happen is channel one and channel two would be in left and right channel, so stereo. So when you do edit your audio in post-production, you will have your audio on your left, your first audio on your left and your second audio on your right and you can merge them and do whatever you want a bit. So if you look here, this is where the USB audio goes out and this is your micro USB that goes out to your smartphone directly. Okay, so this is the analog audio and then we have the USB here, the port for you to charge this device. All right, so that's the receiver, now the transmitter. Okay, so the transmitter, <coughs> it's really, really simple, feels very plasticky, it's not a very um, high quality product, very plasticky, but it's still okay, right? And inside you have two AA batteries, which last quite a while, also up to about six, eight, maybe 10 hours. You have a little screwdriver here to turn up the gains here. Now, the reason why we have a plastic screwdriver is because um, the gain here is not supposed to be fitted that much. So once you set the gain correctly without clipping, you will want to leave it there without touching it again. Okay, let me just put this back. There you go. Oops. Okay, so who should get this 
um, Samsung Go Mic Mobile. Now, the only faults that I found with Samsung Go Mic Mobile and the whole setup here is that I found that it's always best to use a non-rechargeable battery with this because when we use rechargeable batteries with the whole set, we experience some dropouts and some pops and clicks during the recording so that's not favorable so i think this is great for you know budget or like hobbies who want to create content videos but if you're going to lean on this for professional broadcast uh, recordings i wouldn't recommend it because it's not that reliable as it may seem all right it works on a 2.4 gigahertz broadcast that's how it sends the frequencies over to the receiver so sometimes you may have interference when it comes to uh, using this in a very crowded area or when using this in an area with a lot of Wi-Fi interference going on. So let me know what you think about the Samsung Go Mic Mobile in the comment section below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be there to help. Thanks.